So on February 14, Valentine's Day in 2008, I did something that I was called to do. And that was to hire the DAM, one of the centers of Amsterdam, and to invite anybody who wanted on Valentine's Day, which was also Sound Healings Day, to, to come and join their voice in the circle that we were doing. It was me and a few musicians and a few singers. Uh, we brought together that vibration of the aha, which is the vibration of the heart. Um, and what we wanted to do was to create one vibration of sound, which we always, I always did that in workshops and circles, but we wanted to create a bigger circle in the dam. And that was, it was fascinating to see how tourists, children, um, people from all walks of life uh, joined us for four different circles we did on that, on that dam. And since then, I wanted to do something that is uniting the power of our voice with our collective mind. Um, but if I have to admit, and I'm sure you will recognize yourself, sometimes when our purpose is really clear and we are guided to go there, we are also facing our biggest fear. And then our ego mind will give us excuses and we will shrink it and we will fold it and we will put it aside and we will not do what we can or, or should do. So now we're closing 12 years, everybody, all of us closing 12 years with Jupiter's coming back into Capricorn. Uh, so there is some kind of closing of a circle and also an opportunity to take something on. So we are now in the end of 2019, I'm recording this. Uh, it is a full moon, 1212 um, in Gemini. If you follow the cycles of nature and cosmos, we know that we are about to enter a kind of life changing winter. So, for a few years, every time I'm, I'm watching what's happening in the world and I go deeply into it. I feel connected to few countries and few cultures, so I watch deeply what's going on. And I'm aware, like some of you are aware, that there is a very strong power, uh, kind of a spiritual uh, war between the forces that want to take humanity higher for elevation, equality, innovation, and the next step, and the forces that want to take humanity into the past to stay small, uh, divided, and, uh, uh, you know, poor, <laughs> enslaved. Okay, so there's a lot to say about that, but I want just for today to tell you that for, for years with all of the work that I was doing and literally in order to keep myself sane, I sometimes just call the forces of, of Archangel Michael uh, and other, other beings that I am connected to and feel in the light and I literally send them into Syria and to United States and to other places and to other people. I, I do my, the best what I can to, to use the fact that I have a body and the angels need us to, to give a clear uh, guidance of what they are allowed to help us with. And I also have to admit that I also was hiding a little bit, um, waiting for the time. And my question was always to source. How do you want me to serve? How do you want me to serve? How can I serve? How can I serve? Um, and what's happening now is that this thing what I was trying the last few years uh, to bring this collective mind and voice together, which I called uh, inner world peace, and now I'm going to bring it out, uh, hopefully without hiding, and hopefully without excuses, and hopefully without shrinking. Um, and I will need your help. Um, so what I want to do is this, and it's basically starting um, from today, in a way. I want to keep it uh, an initiative that is free for everyone, uh, that is uh, inviting every person that called himself to the light. So there is no division of political ideas of which religion you are, which culture you are, uh, even people that think the opposite of us. If they have wish into serving more light, uh, they are invited. And um, I was 
practicing this. How do we do that with meditation? And I, uh, last year, did a few times that I invited people to join me into this uh, collective meditation, which is great, but it's also long uh, and maybe taking too much time. Um, I was looking for how can I make it really simple? How can I make it really simple that every person who already, you know, donating and signing petition and fighting for justice and fighting for truth and try to help the suffering of uh, immigrants of uh, children or people in Iran already doing a lot that can also find a very easy way to connect and create this field of light. Um, so then I thought I'm going to do some kind of meditation like I do this uh, shamanic sound journey meditation but I was going to the studio to record one and I was hearing this melody in my head which was based on the Haponopono prayer. Uh, the Ponopono prayer is one of the simplest and the most powerful and effective uh, uh, transformative uh, prayer. It has four sentences. It says, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. And thank you. And it comes from the belief uh, of the shamans of Hawaii, of the understanding that any external problem or issues that we have uh, has its source in ourselves. So by finding a way to love that part, this is a little bit elevated, the shamans we used to do that, but every person can heal or love the part of themselves uh, and create this inner peace inside that generates outside. So I was in the studio with the guitarist, um, with my beloved Stefan, uh, we recorded something and wow, the light went. The light just changed, do you see that? Um, so then I was recording the English where we can do a mantra together. And what's happened to me when I'm recording or writing songs is that I always have two voices. I have the voice of the lyric English or another language or Hebrew um, that is a structural song, which I call my inner king. Uh, and I also have the voice that is a chant that is a little bit more abstract, that is uh, more uh, quantum physics structure uh, and which I call the inner queen. Uh, and what happened in this mantra that I want to record for us to be able to focus on, I uh, recorded them both at the same time uh, and they complementary of each other. So I felt that with this whole movement of myself uh, with, you know, when I became, uh, when I had my birthday last year, it was the year when I united my inner king and my inner king. Um, and the earth and humanity is going through the same process. Uh, suddenly, vocally and with this music, uh, we had this mantra that has the perfect representation of the masculine and the feminine and the unity and the holy union of them both in ourselves. And it was six minutes and 20 seconds. And I realized this is the mantra that we can together start to create this vocal, uh, mental, heart, and uh, spirit um, voices. Um, so this inner world piece suddenly became something that I can make it really easy for you and everyone that wants to uh, join this uh, because um, it's infused with codes of unconditional love. Uh, there is actually a real support from the feminine and, and the earth, and there is really light from 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 uh, creator. Uh, and this this merge comes in this very simple mantra that if we sing it, we can connect into our inner peace. And from that, I hope to create a bigger field of um, world peace. So um, so I'm going for it, and I really hope that I can uh, make it this time and, uh, and help as much as people, uh, possible people to join us in this circle of intention. So even if you sing it alone in your house and you just bring yourself into this inner peace, you are connected into this field that we are building. Now, um, all of it is based on a lot of things that we know from, from, from studying mystical texts and 
and knowledge from the ancient and from new science. So I think I'm even going to share some of these resources, even that I'm not a scientist and I'm not an academic, and this is not where my gift is. My gift is to translate things into frequency of, of, of color, sound, uh, and to share it heartfully with you. And I'm sure you have an amazing talent uh, of, of anything, of, of, of focus, of bringing your own unique DNA, your, your own unique soul signature uh, to when you will sing that mantra with us. Uh, so um, it's starting. Um, so I'm going to run this from the 22 of December, which is yeah, 21, 22 um, solstice, winter solstice in the North Hemisphere until springtime. And I think it's going to be fun and, and grounding and empowering us to uh, keep calm in the changes that are coming. Um, and um, I would need to know from you, uh, what do you need? What do you think we should do next? Uh, how we can um, give that information to more people? Uh, is there something you would you, you know, somebody said to me if I can do something with showing how to sing because actually everyone can sing and the voice is not only for uh, physically singing nice, it's, it's a vibration that connects you to your own soul signature. That's why I'm so passionate about the voice. Of course, I do everything according to the uh, four voices uh, framework, um, which you can see uh, on the side of the back. Uh, so you have so much power in your voice and we all have so much power in our voices. And this is the time where human voice is rising um, because we are elevating ourselves into the light. Uh, so this is my intention and I hope to get your support just by, just by doing this uh, mantra with us, even just once a month. Uh, but for yourself, every day will be good because it does connect you into this. I am sorry. Uh, please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. And then there is this clean field of creating the new chapter that is coming. And we will have to listen uh, to know what's next. Uh, so this is what I am uh, devoted uh, to do. And um, some of you brilliant, brilliant, beautiful people um, uh, will join and add your own uniqueness into it. And, and then we'll see where we're going. So this uh, inner world piece is uh, coming uh, soon. Um, I'm now doing 10 days uh, countdown to winter. I'll do it on Facebook page so we can connect. Um, every day there is a little piece of taking something away and bringing something new so we can do this transition, ground ourselves and release a lot of this ex excess energy that is sitting on us and the planet. So uh, that's my intention. Ooh! I hope it's going to be uh, uh, effective and beautiful to you as it was for me to do it. Um, so the thing is recorded and you can sign uh, point to it and you will get everything that you need um, and uh, yeah very exciting so go check it out and I will see you soon thank you